Long, long ago, far away in the mountains, lived a monstrous troll who towered over most all creatures across the realms. He took what he pleased, including a sacred item of the Highland Billy Goat Clan. After many years of living in fear of the mountains, the siblings of the Clan Gruff rose up and swore to take back what belonged to their people. As the three goats headed up the mountain, they raced to see who would reach the Troll's Bridge first. The youngest brother, a bard and swiftest of the three, reached the peak first. As he approached the bridge, the Troll roared. Welcome, little goat. You shall make a nice snack as I'll keep watch. Well, you wouldn't want to be eating this goat, my massively large friend. And what, pray tell, is that? I'm not but skin and bones, hardly a fitting snack for one so majestically large as yourself, but I can give you something befitting a kang. If you let me pass. Do you continue? I shall compose a ballad of your legendary conquest so that all across the land shall remember your name forever. The troll agreed to let him pass once he heard his ballad. There once was a troll from Nantucket. To the troll's surprise, some time after the first had passed, a second goat approached his bridge. She was a fair maiden, who bore the markings and staff of a sorceress. She stood before the troll with no fear and said, Stand aside, troll, and let me pass. <laughs> and why should I let my meal pass me by again, little goat? I can see into the future, but what does it say? If you allow my safe passage, tell you I may. A fair trade, I suppose. Tell me what my future holds. Is there food? Because I'll grow weary of trades. You're destined to face a beast much bigger than me. Only he can quell your hunger permanently. You will know it's your time by the shine before your eyes. But this future will only come true if... You let me pass by. That sounds quite nice. I suppose I'll let you pass for a bigger prize. Shortly after the second goat went on her way, the last and final goat reached the bridge. He was a mountain of a goat, so the climb made him winded. Bundled in his cloak, he grumbled about the hike and the cold. I can't believe it went on without me. Whoever thought of the idea of a claiming goat in a mountain. I've been waiting for you, beastie! Ha <laughs> ha! This day you will make a splendid feast! The goat stood up tall and said to the troll in a booming voice. <laughs> Troll, you yellow-bellied monster, if you can defeat me, you can go ahead and eat me. So come along now, I've got my two spears, and I'll poke out your eyeballs out of your ears. And I've got besides those two hurling stones, and I'll crush you to bits, body and bones. <laughs> How about thee? This threw the troll into a rage and the two titans clashed. All the threats the goat made he fulfilled in a flash. The troll lay dead. His reign of terror was ended. The clan gruff took all his treasure and down the mountain descended. Restoring order to their land, just as they had sworn. The moral of this tale if you cross the wrong goat, you may just get the horn.
stop going to Australia, my guy. And let me pop. That's I bad. I didn't want to lie. What's up? Prometheus. I don't know what the heck you just said. And why? Why, pray tell, is that? Uh, <laughs> Bring cool. up every line. Uh, I'm not confrontational, though. You need to be. You're a sorceress, you're powerful, you're strong, <laughs> independent, gold woman. And you don't need no man. <laughs> it's, I throw about 16 different words in that spot. <laughs> majestically. What was that? Did I use majestically? I didn't make fun of your accent the entire time I was here. I felt like Zip it. my accent was okay for never going to Scotland and never actually speaking to a Scottish person. Well, it, I'm not a good. It, it,